The purpose of the memorial, the mission of the memorial, is to tell the story, tell the story of women's service. And it's also uh, a place where we collect and put together the history of women in the military. And until we started this, that history wasn't really being captured, and now we're capturing it. And the big advertising slogan to attract women to go into the service was free a man to fight. Now that didn't start in World War II. It also, it was a slogan for World War I. And many women responded that. There were many women who responded because they were the only woman in their family who could go defend the country and represent the family. There were others who went in because they had a brother who was killed in one of the early conflicts. But by and large, most of them went in because they were good patriotic Americans and they wanted to help defend this country. Some 400,000 women served during World War II. And, and they are such wonderful people and they are so proud of their service. And so many have said in their memorable experience, I would do it again if my country needed me. Now at age 90, I'm not sure how much their country needs them today, but uh, that was their attitude. And many of them said it was the single most exciting or most meaningful thing that they ever did in their life. So it's, uh, it was a good thing. And had they not done well, then those of us today would never have probably had an opportunity to serve. But they did well, and as a result, two years after the end of the war, legislation was passed uh, saying that women would be a permanent part of the armed forces.